Alright, so as many of you know by now, there's another copyright problem going around on this site. I'm mainly talking about the show pro incident, and if I'm gonna be honest, this is starting to make me paranoid. Just as a quick rundown, if anyone happens to have not heard of it, ShowPro's a production company that has brought us a variety of anime. They're best known for their work on the Pokemon franchise, and more recently, Komi Can't Communicate. But as of late, they found a way to dig around YouTube's legal policy with their own, and as a result, started attacking users that dare use their material in any way. With the results leading to assaulting said users via copyright claims, strikes, and even threatening to sue them. And ShowPro's already managed to get a victim through their actions. Swade, who's been reviewing Pokemon for years, has been given a lawsuit from ShowPro. And now, all his videos are out of sight. And even worse, he could end up losing his account in the next few months. And, from what I've learned, this isn't even the first time they tried to pull the stunt. He even got pushed by them back as far as 2019. To make matters worse, Swade was doing this for a living! This was his livelihood! And they deliberately pulled the rug out from under him and sent him all the way back to square one! And, as you may remember, there was a similar incident that occurred a few months ago. Totally Not Mark was dunked in hot water, left drowning for a short while thanks to Toei. Just by reviewing their material, too. Though he hasn't dealt with any lawsuit threats as far as I know. He mostly got away with a load of copyright claims, which sucks in general, but while it wouldn't have been the end of the world right off the bat, just like Swade, he's been making a living off his content too. You know I was curious about Toei for years, I was considering checking out their work just to see if it was worth the watch and maybe even sharing my experience with friends. But after they decided to start pushing various users around with copyright slaps, they started making me feel uncomfortable to the point where I don't even want to touch their material at all, even if it's not for a review. So way to go Toei. You practically scared off who could have been a potential fan. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Normally this would come off as completely unreasonable because of fair use and whatnot, but that's practically non-existent in Japan. So as scummy as it is, it can still be totally legal and justified on their end. And that's what makes it worse. Jopro could have even affected me, as I've talked about Pokemon once. But still, even that might be enough to put me on their naughty list. And in addition, I've been making AMVs for almost three years now, and if ShowPro and Toei are gonna slam people's heads onto the chopping block over simply acknowledging their content via videos, then it might be a matter of time before I'm next! Even though most of the anime I brought up in my countdown videos had nothing to do with Pokemon or Toei's work, nor have I featured any of those clips in my AMVs, I still wonder what other anime companies could be as ruthless as they are, and if not now, then how long until they start? So as much as I hate to do this, all those videos are gonna remain private until further notice. Which sucks more as I remember that I never finished the last New Year's AMV after my computer practically junked up and now with this going on, it might take even longer to upload, even if I do decide to finish it. What ShowPro's pulling was uncalled for and harsh to say the least and could permanently damage YouTube's right system and I mean more than ever to say the most, which is why something must be done about this. I've heard people talking about geoblocking. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm getting too ahead of myself, but in a way, I feel this could possibly work. I remember a time when YouTube had said feature years ago, back when the site was way more free range and creators didn't have to spend every day living in fear. Of course, back then, it seemed to have as much of a point. But with these copyright issues feeling more strict and consequential in recent years, and considering that this is all regionally based, it might be a possible solution worth looking into. This could have the potential to help a lot of creators out. I mean, YouTube's already pushed through enough suffering these last few years from the algorithm changes as well as COPPA to the music copyright system falling out of whack, and let's not forget about the more recent dislike removal. Just... why? Please, Susan. I know I'm just a nobody to you, just one in a billion on this site, but if you really still cared even a little about the creators, you'd stop to think about the situation and see if some sort of agreement can be made or if something can be done to peacefully end this so both sides could come out happy. I know this is just wishful thinking at this point, but I still want to believe that there's a positive outcome to this mess. At this point, we could either move forward and come to some kind of fair negotiation, or the policies could somehow go back to how they used to be. In a way, that could work too, and all have a reason to bring my anime projects back up. Thanks to everyone who managed to make it through this whole message, and I'll try to get more videos out whenever I can.